So today we're going to talk about factoring. Um, basically it means taking something and turning it into a multiplication. So before we start, you've got to remember a couple of definitions. What is a term and what are factors? So we'll start off with the number 36. When you talk about terms, these are the pieces that we have to put an addition or a subtraction together. So the terms for 36, well, we could talk about 36 as the addition of two terms. Let's say 20 plus 16. 20 is a term, 16 is a term. You could also talk about it as an addition of two terms where one of them is an integer. For example, 40 plus negative 4. Of course, we would simply say 4 minus, 40 minus 4. Now, there are lots and lots of different ways that we could put this together as an addition or a subtraction of terms. Now, factors is a little bit more limited, thank goodness, because that's what we want to try and find out for a lot of these things. Factors are the two numbers that would multiply together to give you 36 in this case. So, the first most boring one is 1 times 36, and again, 1 and 36 are both factors. You could also have 2 times 18, 3 times 12. Now, as I said before, it's a limited number of factors. We're going to run out pretty quickly here. 4 times 9, 5 doesn't go, and then you have 6 times 6. Which, by the way, that would be a perfect square. Um, 36 can be square rooted because the two factors are the same. So when we talk about factoring, we're saying, can we take a number and rewrite it as a product? Okay, so that the pieces in a product Whereas, the terms are the pieces in an addition. And it doesn't, it's not limited to just two in the work we're doing. There's, there could be several pieces, okay, when we're putting these together. Most of the time, though, we limit it to simply two of them. And so now, we have to say, well, what happens for algebra? Let's take uh, our first algebra idea and an expression like, 6x plus 12. Now, these are two terms, right? But we're wondering, hey, can I rewrite this as a uh, multiplication? So these guys are called terms. Uh, this is a binomial, two terms, by meaning two, added together. Well, when I want to turn this into a product, we call that factoring, and I can say, is there a number that I could actually divide out of both of these? Or can I rewrite this as a multiplication of two things? Well, this is where we come up with our first concept, which is called GCF. You could take a 6, okay, out of both of these terms. And so now, your multiplication, your factors, are 6 and x plus 2. 6 times x plus 2, product. 6x plus 12, addition, okay? Product of factors, addition of terms. And how do you check this out? Well, using the distributive property, which is the undoing the GCF, you can multiply it out together and still get the same answer. We're gonna pursue this a little bit in the factoring the next level.